Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. In this video, I'm going to solve another question on um, bfe.dev. It's the code message. It is supposed... This one is supposed to be from a uh, Facebook interview. So we're given a 2D array of characters. There's a hidden message in it. Okay, so like this is a matrix. Uh -huh. So the way to collect the message is as follows. Start at top left, I. Move diagonally down right, R. And O, we cannot move any more. Try to switch to diagonally up, right? Okay. C, L, we cannot move any more. Try switch to diagonally down, right? Repeat three. So E, D, right? So the final I R O C L E D. Stop. We cannot move. Cannot neither move down, right, or right. The character on the path is in the message. So oh yeah. So this is it. If no characters could be collected, return an empty string. Well, I think this is uh, pretty easy. So if we want R to define a uh, direction, it must be like, uh, it should be plus one and uh, plus one. This is down right, right? Or plus one, minus one. This is up, upright, right? So this is a direction actually. But for the axis X, horizontal X, the direction will be always be from left to right. There's no right from left, so we can omit. Uh, we don't need to handle the x, uh, the direction on horizontal x. We just could use a flag to keep, keep track of the uh, vertical direction. It is whether it is up or down, right? And then we will use a while loop to uh, loop through from column zero to the last column and collect the uh, collect the result. When we met the end, we turn, uh, turn the, uh, we switch the direction, right? Cool. So this is it. So, okay. So the initial should be. Let, uh, okay. The message is a, two D array. Uh, let's first filter out the uh, edge cases. So if add message on then is zero. We return empty, right? And or if message uh, zero dot length is zero, return zero. I return empty. So the let result is empty string. And uh, while const oh I'm sorry, const rows equals message dot length cons. Okay, that result is the empty string. We will loop from column zero to the last column. So, uh, okay. Mm. Okay, let's start. Oh, when we are looping through the columns, we need to keep track of the coordinates actually, right? So, let row equals zero, let column equals zero. while row would be while column actually column smaller than the cows uh -huh. it means that this coordinate is is the uh, available one right for i is from i so result plus equals now we need to move to the next one right move to the next coordinate Okay, I need to keep track of the direction. Y default is plus uh, is uh, positive means going down. Uh -huh. So the next coordinates would be row would be row plus direction y column plus one right. So this column will never uh it will always be okay. But for row, it is not. When we go to O, we'll get another a row, get another row, which is well, uh, be more than a rows, be bigger than a rows, right? So I'll move it here and update to the row. We just say if row is bigger than the rows, we will turn the direction, right?
yeah, their direction should be uh, minus one. Uh huh. Uh, row should be the row should be yeah move. I'll uh, restore the row and use another direction. So subtract it. Subtract it with two, right? And if row is smaller than zero. We do the same, direction y should be 1, row should be, uh, it should be plus by 2. And then finally, return the result. Uh, allow me to review my code one more time before I run the code. Uh, so we start at i, 0, 0, direction is positive. We are going to into this for loop. The result will be plus with i, and then column go to next column, row go to h, uh, r, everything okay. We go to o, everything okay here, here, and then we go to we go to the d, this one, the empty, the slot here, the position here, right? And we got row is overflowing, so we set the direction minus one, row go to c, right? Oh, if there's a problem that after we modify it, it might be running, running to it might run into this if again, right? Like there's only two rows. If there is two rows, uh, like R here. Okay, R is okay. If it was one row, like I, then go to this position and it will turn into this. And if row, it will go to R actually again. But but even for that, oh, okay. I'll use the else here. It doesn't harm, but... Uh, no, it harms, actually. The while loop check, like... Uh, Okay, I'll continue now. Go LC L L run run into this if direction change it changed and row become to E and D again it will be positioned here and it is out of the row uh, column so it stop. But what if there is only one row like this? We're going to I and then go to the place here. But it's negative, so we change it to here, right? And uh, co column is changed to here. And we should stop because we cannot move anymore. Oh, okay. So actually, I need to add another check here. Row is bigger than minus one, and row is smaller than rows, right? Yeah. So after this two if check, if still the row is not within the range, then it means uh, we are not able to move forward. Cool. <coughs> Messages are not defined. Mm, ah, typo. Great. I love this one. Um, yeah, it's actually an easy one, but not that easy if you want to uh, explain it well in a short period of time. I think this problem may be in a phone screening of uh, a Facebook interview. So yeah, keep your mind straight and keep track of the state and uh, that's it. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye.